Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Jim Spock is an Apple consultant and we help you with all of your Apple hardware and software needs. Today we're going to talk about a problem where disk utility won't format a drive because it can't unmount it. So in this case we have a external USB disk. You can see right here. We've got it plugged in and we want to reformat it. We want to wipe it out and reformat it. Usually in disk utility you would select either the volume, like the partition, or the disk itself, and you should be able to erase it. So here, if we choose Erase to format it, we'll choose the Mac format, and we'll just leave it uh, being called Untitled. We go to Erase, try to erase, and we get an error. There's a couple of errors you can get. In this one, they're saying it couldn't open device, and sometimes you'll get an error saying it can't unmount the device for formatting. So it's possible now to force the device to unmount and then we can format it. So we will use the command line to force the disk to unmount. We can get some information about the disk by clicking on it. And we can see description, where it's located, and so on. And if we click on the partition, we get the name of it, where it is, and so on. But we can get a little bit more information out of the terminal. So remember, to open the terminal, to put in the command line commands, you go into your Applications folder, and then into your Utilities folder, and Terminal will be sitting in there. So here, we can use Disk Utility commands. Disk Util is the main program that we're using, and we can issue commands here. So we can just say List. So if we type in List, we get a list of all the disks that are located on the Mac. So here we can see the Macintosh HD, which is our main startup hard drive. And we can see our external drive. So here it's called USB disk, USB disk. And we can see what the actual name of the disk is. So in case the drive is really messed up and it doesn't have a name or a volume and you plug it in, but it still won't unmount to reformat, you can run this command here to find out the name and location of the disk itself. And I'll show you how to force the unmount based on that in a minute. Okay, we'll just clear this window. So we want to unmount this disk. So what we'll do, since we know the name of it, is we will type in disk util unmount disk force and then we type in volumes and the name of the volume itself. So in this case, it's USB underscore disk, USB underscore disk. Hit return. And it's forced the volume to be unmounted. Now we can go back in here and we should be able to format it. Let's go ahead and format it. Perfect, we've got a newly formatted disk that's ready for use. So what do we do if we don't know the name of the volume of the disk? So let's say this is messed up, it's not really appearing on our desktop, but we're still getting errors in disk utility when we want to format the disk. What we know from running our list, disk util list, that this disk is actually located here, slash dev slash disk2. So we can tell that when we do our list. And even if the name's not here, you're not 100% sure, you can identify it by the size, the fact that it's not this one, because we know that's our startup drive. So by process of an em elimination, you can really tell what the disk is and where it is. So in this case, we'll force it to unmount without knowing the name. So here we use the same command, disk util, unmount disk, with a capital D, force slash dev slash disk two, enter. 
There we go. The unmounting was successful. It's disappeared from the desktop and now we're ready to format it again. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments on new topics that we can post in new videos, please put them down in the comments below. I'll also put the commands down in the comments below for your reference. And if you have any further questions or you would like to set up one-on-one -on -one help, you can get in touch with us through our website, which is linked in the description. And as usual, please subscribe, comment, like, and share.